Guys, so check this out. If you're ever in the market for a 55 gallon drum dolly, buy one of these things. This came from a company called Vivor, I think it is. And the packaging is all stove up. But... Vivor. Yes. Doesn't seem like much, but I figured for the price, I think it was $50. I mean, I couldn't buy the metal. I couldn't buy the metal in, in bolts and casters for 50 bucks. So some assembly required, obviously, but I'll show you guys this thing under a barrel. This is gonna be awesome for my waste oil. There it is with the wheels on it. As you can see, I'm down one bolt and a nut. So they actually included two bolts though, so that's cool. So now he's gonna go find some oddball obscure metric nut that doesn't really fit. Like a 14 millimeter and a 13 is too tight and SAE doesn't fit. It's just some weird Chinese stuff. But anyway, casters seem to be okay. You're not great, but this one locks. That's cool. Actually, I think there's two locking ones. Um, seems perfectly usable for $50. I mean, you really can't complain too much. I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. Um, it's very stable. Um, I was thinking that there's going to be like, you know, quarter inch play here, there. I just added a 5 16 cap bolt. Because I didn't, couldn't find a metric nut for the one that was missing. But anyway, this thing, you know, it's very adequate. I think this will be nice. For $50, I mean, guys, that's a heck of a deal. It is just, you know, raw steel that someone spray painted. You can kind of see. It's not perfect, but you know, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for something that's inexpensive, that's very usable. And even if they assembled this in some third world country, you know, just eh, adequate welds that aren't really spectacular, who cares? I mean, it's a tool that you'll never see. It's going to be underneath the barrel, getting all covered in oil and dirt. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty good for the price. Again, it was this. Vever, Vivor, this company here. I found them online. They got all kinds of stuff. Well, that's exciting. The locks don't really work on the wheels, but other than that, it's a great dolly. We'll see how it holds up with like 600 pounds in it. Here we are guys in the same spot about, oh, five months later. And as you can see, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This barrel dolly, you're never gonna see that thing. I've got all kinds of junk surrounding that barrel. So anyway, this barrel is now like three quarters full. I'm gonna take that thing and roll it around and show you how that thing works. So this barrel here has a capacity of 55 gallons. This is your typical 55 gallon drum. This thing is about three quarters full of a mixture of oils, whether it be 15, 40, 5, 30, 10, 30, whatever. Um, full of this thing weighs right around 400 pounds. So I'd say there's roughly 300 pounds worth of oil in this thing. Let me show you how this thing rolls around with, you know, just 300 pounds worth of oil in there. As you can see, there's not a lot of resistance. I'm pushing this thing pretty easy. You know, for what it is, this drum dolly supports the weight of that oil like it's nothing. Now, water, if you had a 55 gallon drum of water, that'd be slightly heavier, maybe around 500, 600 pounds. I'm confident that this dolly would handle just about anything you put in this barrel. So, pretty cool. This thing actually rolls pretty good. I'm impressed for an El Chico dolly. I wasn't expecting that to roll that far. Might have brushed too aggressively. Look at that, I even took a casualty in the making of this video. Anyway, there's your update on the drum dolly. This thing works pretty good, no complaints. So, uh, 
if you need one of these drum dollies, I'd grab one of these things from this company. You know, that's actually the five wheels. It's actually really stable. So, uh, and also you can use this thing for uh, curling. If you had a bunch of more of these things, it'd actually be kind of fun. You know, this is not an affiliate link. These guys didn't help me in any way. I bought this out of my own money. So, I just like to show you guys products that I use in the shop here that are actually decent. So, there it is.